With Bailey here, Bailey was a, a full salvage job. Uh, Bailey came in extremely matted. And unfortunately, in the trimming process, we couldn't salvage the ears on Bailey without risking injuring the ears. So they were totally shaved off. But when we're shaving these ears off, I just want to show you how to edge the ear um, when you're working with these kinds of situations. Now, the outside of the ear was shaved with a closed blade. Normally, I like to use a 15 blade on the outside. And you can use anything from a 40 to a 15 blade on the inside of the ear. But you want to make sure that you get that nice and, and neat. And then you need to edge this, this uh, ear because, as you can see here, it's still very rough and it needs, a, needs to be tidied up to match the rest of her. Now, when I'm working with edging ears, I always like to use a smaller detailer shear, like this small, it's oh, probably a four or five inch shear, and I'm always going to keep the tips of the shears towards the tips of the ears. So I'm going to go ahead and brace her head by, by grabbing her ear. I've got my, my palm of my hand right on her skull. And I'm going to go ahead, and she's got little bigger ears, so I'm going to have to do this in a couple moves, but I'm going to brace that ear, I'm going to ruffle this coat down here, and I'm just going to go ahead around the edge of the ear and tidy this all up. I'm going to pull that coat down, ruffle it so I can get a nice cut on that. And if my shear blade doesn't want to close real easily, I'm not going to force it because I don't want to nick her ear. We did the one side, now we're going to go ahead and do the other side here. I'm pulling that coat down, I'm ruffling it, I'm holding the ear leather as I'm going down the edge of the ear, always keeping the tips of the ears towards the ship, tips of the shears towards the tips of the ears. And then I'm just going to go ahead and double check. Now these dogs will always have a flap right on the inside, so you always have to be real careful of that flap as you're working through these ear leathers when you're scissoring them. But you always want to double check, especially on these bigger ears, the base of the ear. Make sure that you don't have strays coming out of that little flap right there. And just double check that it's nice and neat all the way around the entire ear. Again, you always, always want to keep the tips of the shears towards the tips of the ears. And that's because the coat grows in a downward fashion. And so when you are keeping the tips towards the tips of the ears, as you close your shear blade, it's going to naturally ride off the ear leather and minimize the um, risk of nicking the ear, where if you were to cut up into the ear, it's going to actually pull the shear blade into the ear. The other thing is now all of a sudden you've got tips of shears going right towards the dog's head, which is a real dangerous situation. So for safety, always keep those tips of the shears towards the tips of the ears.